whenever I hear from my tribe that they struggle to look consistent or cohesive online, it usually goes back down to this specific training. And that is whether you've taken the time to create your mood board. I wanna show you today how to create one really quickly inside of Canva. But before we do, I wanna tell you why this is so important. Often when we don't take the time to do that, we're just winging our graphics and our visuals inside of Canva. We keep changing up our style of photography, our fonts, our colors. But online, it doesn't really look like we know or have a clear idea about how we want to look and who we want to attract. So taking the time to get clear about who we want to work with, who we want to attract with our visuals is going to help not only simplify your own design life, and that of your team as you grow, but it's also going to help your ideal clients notice you in the scroll and click through to learn more about you. It also shows your tribe that you take your branding and your graphics serious because you've invested the time to nail your look and feel. One other thing that I love is that everything comes together in one convenient place. So it's easy to see what needs adjusting and it also helps you create your own recipe for your visuals as you streamline your visual creation process. Okay, so let's get started. Your very first step before you jump into Pinterest is going to be to be really clear about your mission statement, your core values, and your brand words. So your mission statement is basically what you do and why. For instance, for my shop, it's to create easy to use graphics for female business owners that connect and convert. My core values are not only on my about page, but also comes through in the way that I show up online, in the photography that I choose, it's in the colors, it's in the brand words that I choose, and it's how I like to choose my everyday life and also make decisions in my business. So those words are going to help you not just choose the photos, what's going to help you determine what colors and what fonts you choose. Next is your brand words. How do we want people to feel when they interact with you, when they see you in a live, when they see one of your graphics pop up in their feed? If you're having a hard time with this, what I recommend is writing all of them down, what you do, who you serve, adjectives, things you want people to feel, and then circle the words that keep coming up often. Those are your brand words. So keeping your mission, your core values and your brand words in mind, you're gonna hop on over to Pinterest, create a private board, and you're gonna start pulling images and graphics that you feel reflect these. What I like to do once I go through my own board is I start seeing what I notice. What are the trends? What are things that keep popping up? So for me, it's a lot of women in cozy environments, working from home, they're business owners, their everyday spaces are really important to them. They love quality, love cozy spaces. They take care of themselves. And I can already notice the colors that keep popping up. So then what I like to do is I go and I save out the top five to 10 images that I like. You can save it onto your desktop. And then you wanna go into your Canva account and upload those images. You can do this by creating a photo folder under folders or by going to your homepage and starting a blank document. So we're just going to do an A4 document. You can go to folders, create new, give it a name, and then upload those images in there. Your next step is to create your mood board. What I like to do to keep it really simple is hit two elements, grids, and all of the grids. So keep scrolling down until you see a layout that you like. So there's one that can work. I'll look for one more and then decide between those two. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this one. And then I'm going to drag the images that I pulled from my Pinterest board into this grid. You can also play around with circle elements if you wanna break the pattern a little bit of the square and the rectangle. So you can either do that with a frame and then drag in an image. I like to have a 
white circle on the back so that it pops a bit more. And you can also bring in your brand colors in your mood board. So one way is to make this circle one of your brand colors. You can also bring in smaller circles and you can also place the circles on the side of your design or underneath it. Now in terms of how many colors to choose, I usually like to choose two to three brand fonts and four to five brand colors. You can also choose to bring in your logo and you might notice that once you start plugging in and playing around with your photos, you start seeing a pattern for your colors. So if you're still struggling to determine your colors, I recommend one of two things. Picking a photo that you feel perfectly represents the way that you want people to feel when they interact with you and your business and your brand online or export this mood board. Then you're going to head to Canvas Color Palette tool and simply drag your photo or your mood board into the Color Palette tool. Canva will pull the top five colors in that image. So that's a really quick and easy way to create your brand colors. So I like these colors. I'm going to go with these for this mood board. I head back to my mood board and I plug in these colors. Now please know that you can change this. A brand is definitely something that we grow into, so it's perfectly fine and normal for this to change. But once you kind of know it, but once you know what you're looking for, it becomes easier and easier for you to change this out and to become more confident with how you want to show up online visually. If there's a color in here that you feel the color picker tool didn't pick up, one of the tools that I love is Colorzilla. And with Colorzilla, you can go through and hover over photos to get a specific color that you want inside of that photo. And then Colorzilla will save it in a pick color history for you. I go into the whole brand and the mood board in a lot more detail in a free training that I include for my Canva template shop members. I also include a template because I feel that this is really important for you to have clarity on before you move over and streamline your graphics for your business. Okay friends, if you've made it here, you're in a pretty good space. Now you can go around and start playing with your fonts, start adding in, moving this down a little bit if you want. You can keep this as is or you can use it to create your brand board. Now, what is the difference between a mood board and a brand board? Your mood board is where you're going to start pulling in imagery to get a sense for the vibe and the colors that you want to go for in your business. Whereas a brand board is going to start pulling in more of your brand elements in terms of thinking about your fonts, logos, sub logos, and your patterns. A lot of the time, once you have clarity on this, it's easier for a designer to see what it is that you have in mind. So if you are working with a designer to help you create and solidify your branding or create a logo for you, this work will be very helpful. Now, because you already know what you want your brand to look and feel like, it's going to be easier for you to select fonts that do the exact same thing. So you can either look for those in Canva or you can head back to Pinterest and say feminine fonts. And then you can pin even more font options to your board and go from there. You can keep your mood board as is or you can start adding in your brand elements. You can make a copy of each. You can start adding in your logo. Either way, once you're here, it's easy for you to play around and to personalize this even more. I'd love to hear if this training was helpful for you. And of course, if you want pre-created template options for your branding, for your mood board and your graphics, please head to the Canva template shop at the options available. Can't wait to see what you create. So please tag me at Nicolette Styles so I can give you some digital love.